Hey guys, welcome back to the FOA Beast Lab. I'm finally back. Everyone's been asking, hey, can you do a new head review? Well, dog, there hasn't been any new face-off head reviews in a while because there haven't been any new face-off heads. Warrior changed that. The burn recovery. So this head is the next edition of the Warrior Burn. It's a popular face-off head signatured by Trevor Baptiste. So let's take a look at the specs of this head. The Warrior Burn recovery looks exactly like from a dimensional standpoint of the original warrior burn but what were some of the knocks that we heard about the original warrior burn warps really fast the plastic kind of spreads out okay and it turns into almost a full face flex head which wasn't the intent because it has different sidewalls so that it's not a pure face flex head similar to the ceo2 it has this bottom sidewall ridge it goes in the opposite direction similar to the weapon x of ecd and because of that, it's a better head for coming up under the ball on more of an oblique flex. So it has a little bit of the face flex on the top, and it has an oblique flex on the bottom, making it a little bit better for a standing neutral grip. Now, this head has taken a big step forward. This plastic is 100 times better than the original. Okay, Out of the box, it feels more flexible Then its retention is significantly better. If you've been watching Trevor Baptiste, all of 2021 in the PLL season, where he was the face-off man of the year, he used a prototype. You can tell by the color. It was a bone color. It was like a, almost like a glow-in-the-dark looking color. In the NLL, right now, where he is number two in all of National Lacrosse League and face-off percentage, and he's been completely dominant, same head. He's been using the same head for a year. The resiliency is off the charts. So from a spec standpoint, they fixed what they were looking for. It's a much better plastic. It's It's... Definitely more flexible, okay? But it seems to be way more resilient. So we may have gotten exactly what Warrior was looking for with the original, now with this new plastic. So from a spec, st spec standpoint, like I said, feels exactly the same. The look is a different color. That popular kind of raw or bone color that people have gone for. I know East Coast Eyes has the Weapon X Natural. Now Warrior has the burn recovery. So we're gonna get to work on this. We're gonna flex it out and we're gonna see how it performs. All right, so we talked about in the spec review, same exact shape for the Warrior Burn face off. However, new durable plastic, more resilient, more flexible. So in the performance review, as we're going over this, there's really two really important things that we focus on now with standing neutral grip when we're looking at a head review. One is how is it on bottom sidewall moves and how is it on top sidewall moves? So bottom sidewall moves, the problems that we had with the original Warrior Burn face-off head was even though it was a good shape for a lot of guys, it would blow out in the back and get wider or it would collapse on itself inward depending on how you pinched it. This head is more resilient, which gives you a little bit more of a slingshot effect through your rake. So when you're doing a rake correctly, you're not just pulling this way, you're actually driving that bottom sidewall into the ball, right? And you're trying to drive it into your opponent's pocket to take away their ability to clamp and then you pull through and you get ball and you pull them down the line this head is much better than the original at that because of that slingshot effect it comes in and you get that little bend and then you can pull right through the other person's head so right off the bat from a raking standpoint this is an improvement what i'm really impressed with is the top sidewall part the pinch itself feels more oblique you can slide right in with that corner just like you could with the original on a true plunger but I feel like this thing grabs it better just because it's a little bit more flexible and the pinch is really true. So for me, I'm truly just an oblique head face-off guy. This feels real natural for me to slide in right here and then pull that ball straight out. The original burn, I felt like you had to kind of come all the way over the top, which limits your ability to beat elite level opponents because you're not gonna beat everybody all the way over the top. So it's really important to be able to get underneath the ball as well. So this head is definitely better at both bottom and top sidewall compared to the original. And like I said, more resilient. That bend right here, you pinch down this thing, you can crush this and it comes out and it's way more resilient. The original burn, I felt like when I was doing the review, started to warp. This hasn't warped. This is very resilient and flexible. It peels back on itself, it comes back and it finds its shape again. Now this mesh, this is the Warrior Warp ISO mesh. People are gonna ask, so I have to make sure I tell you guys what it is. It's very soft, so if you're just a FOGO, this is actually something you could take right out of the box and use because it's pretty soft and it doesn't stretch much. For me, 
I'm not a fan of it. I just don't like the texture and the feel of it. And plus, I, I like the original mesh. I love being able to string that. This was a little wonky for me. So I just did the interlocks here and then I looped it literally all the way down and then reinforced it at the bottom and it's fine. Um, however, I gotta tell you, you know, I'm more of a, a regular mesh kind of guy. So for those asking, this is the Warrior ISO mesh. It does fit perfectly fine in this head. Um, another part of it, this is a Maverick shaft that I'm using and this fits totally fine on it with the throat plug. It kind of tightens it. So um, big, you know, big boost there. You don't have to grab a shaft. That's exactly a Warrior shaft in order for this to work. So like I said, performance review, I think this is a dramatic step in the right direction for Warrior, uh, their face-off head. This recovery head is definitely better. If you are not a Burn fan, original Burn fan, you would probably like this more than the original, but I still don't think it would be your head. If you did like the original, this is definitely your next purchase because you're going to love this thing. It's definitely better. All the things you liked about the original it has, all the things you didn't like and improved upon. So here's the original, um, here's the Warrior Burn recovery head with the Warp ISO Mesh Review. Go check it out.